Hello my dear family members, congratulations to all of you because you are hired in Accenture as you are preparing from Techno UF. Yes, I have that confidence in my content. Today I will discuss a concept which is often asked in Accenture Drive that is arranging words in lexicographical order. You will be having some strings in an array, you have to arrange the strings in lexicographical order. You know you have few, few ways to do this, uh, first one is use arrays class from java.util package and you can use uh, you can use the for loop or e block to do this and the third one is using compare to method right but if you have less time use the arrays class and get things done quickly but if you are giving interview and you are asked about uh, arranging the uh, strings in lexicographical order so use compare to method or e block because it will enhance your chances of getting selected in the interview right so i will solve the problem now in java but wait I will solve the problem in Python as well. So wait till the end, right? Okay. So this is the strings of array. So I have to sort them in lexicographical order, right? So at first import the java.util.arrays, then just use arrays and just sort this, right? Sort strings. Okay. Now uh, uh, what we have done that is we have arranged the strings. Uh, in lexicographical order now our task is to print the values right so now just run an enhance for loop so string st in strings uh, array right okay now just print all of the values right okay now our task is completed let's see if this is right or not so the actual output should be apple banana cherry and date right okay apple banana cherry and date uh, you can give anything let's say we give zapple so it should come at the last of the queue right and it is right so i hope you got the concept right okay let's solve this in python as well so this is the list of strings uh, what we can do that is uh, we can use sort function or sorted function whenever we need a copy of original uh, list and the modified list we should use sorted function and when we only require the modified list just use sort function right okay just do it by sort function so strings dot sort and our task is completed now just print the values right so for st in strings list right now just print the st value we will be fine okay so see apple banana cherry and date so let's make it apple and see this okay now this is fine z comes at the end so i hope this concept is clear to you now so if you found this video insightful then please subscribe this channel and watch the playlist regarding accenture on campus or off campus coding question right thank you for today's session